Hey guys, and welcome to Enigmatica 2 Expert. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Now, I've been looking for a pack to play for you know past couple of days, especially since we finished Stormblock 2. I am playing that Manu Factio pack. I probably don't still don't pronounce this right. And, you know, I'm still going on with that one as well, but I wanted something that's a bit more uh, bigger and, uh, you know, just more, almost more regular Minecraft, I suppose. So, lots of people have suggested this pack. I've checked it out for a little bit, uh, just to see how the progression is in this, and I'm really liking it, especially because early on you do some IC2 and that kind of stuff, and I've been really craving some older mods like IC2 recently, so I think this is going to be fun. Uh, it seems just about the right difficulty that I would enjoy, so we are going to give this a shot. I'm just going to call this Let's Play, Serious Craft as the seat. Always use that one, and Sheets on is good in case we need to fix stuff, and that's, that's all good. All right, here we are in a brand new world. Oh, this is a very nice biome too. I like it. Oh, I am using the Unity Texture Pack, so things look slightly different, but it's still very vanilla-like, in my opinion, so... Why am I in creative mode? <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Apparently I'm in creative mode. Right away. That's, that's kind of strange. But yes, here we go. Uh, we do have a quest book, but I also have it hotkeyed on a button. Lots of quests, and... You know, the easiest stuff to do is just go through the quest early on, because we do get free stuff. We get some armor pieces here, and we also get pieces for a backpack, which is great. Uh, did you know we have vein miner? Yes, I do. Let's put on the outfit first, so we have this all on. And for vein mining, you actually have to hold something in your hand, otherwise it doesn't work. Uh, if it's an empty hand, it won't work, so let's just use a, a piece of leather, I guess, to punch a tree. That totally makes sense, right? We don't have to make sense in Minecraft. It's all good. And I finished that quest already, which gives us chest. Which is actually pretty good, because if you look at some of these recipes earlier on, this is how you make chests. You either have to have treated wood, <laughs> which we don't have, or you have to have the uh, the tough tool rods from Tinkers. Kinda interesting. I'm not, you know, I'm not really super familiar with uh, expert ma uh, packs. I never played like Infinity Expert or something like this. The only really difficult one I played was Project Ozone 2. And that was only the Titan mode, not even the Kappa mode. So I'm not I'm not too familiar with it, but um, recently I've just been craving for more difficult things where, you know, machines cost more, you have to actually invest a lot of resources into stuff. And this just seems to be right exactly that, you know, that kind of pack. So I'm looking forward to this. Like, the fact that we only get two planks, I love it. <laughs> I really do. Um, we just still get a normal crafting bench at least, which is nice. And I think you also, yeah, you only get two sticks. That is fantastic. <laughs> I actually really like this. Um, but we can make this backpack now. I Like I said, I tried it out a little bit, so I know the beginning slightly. One thing that was confusing at first is like, okay, I looked at this, right? The usage for the frame, and it doesn't really show you that you could make a backpack with the pieces you have. But if you look up the use for this piece, you can actually see we can make one. But it doesn't autocomplete either, but it does still work. Like, we can actually do this. There we go. That does give us a backpack. So, pretty neat early on. I guess we can store our bees in there. And we do get these chests too, which is nice. Uh, so I think early on, we need to make some tools. So let's get stuff for some patterns and such. Should be pretty straightforward early on at least. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this. Now, a little bit of a forewarning, I guess. Uh, you know, this is a huge pack, so there is a chance I won't play it through, like, completion. I'm not... You know, I usually don't play games uh, for too long. I, I tend to, like, get sidetracked and, you know, something else comes around the corner that looks more shiny that... Oops, this way. That I would like to rather play. So there's a chance that we won't be, you know, finishing it. But I don't think you always have to, you know? It's just about... The journey, right? Just having fun and... Uh, let's put this there, maybe. Part builder can go here. Stencil table here. Tool station there. There we go. So, yeah, just a forewarning. But we'll see. Maybe. Maybe I'll be, you know, maybe I'll be super addicted to this. Let's get started, though. Let's also make a sharpening kit and get all the tool parts we could hope for. Uh, I If I seem like I'm rushing a little bit, that's because I have experienced the nighttime. I do not enjoy the nighttime. <laughs> it's dangerous. So I do want to make a little bit of progress here early on. 
We do need to find some flint. Oh, there's some gravel over here. You can just grab with vein mining. Love it. Oh, and also hard mode. Lock this in. Yes, thank you. Make sure we play on hard mode. You used to be able to set this in the main menu, didn't you? But now it's per world. Just checking if there's any more extra flint in there. Didn't see much. But we can just make flint like this, right? So it's not a big deal. I'm going to keep some of this stuff. We also need to find clay, but we can do this in a bit. Let's just make some tools here. We're going to get started with some flint tools. This is probably the easiest. I will make a... Uh, what's it called? A... What's it called? <laughs> this thing. A mattock. That's, that's what it's called. And I also want to make a karma. A karma is kind of like a shear. Which is pretty neat, so we can do that. Uh, so we need this, and... I guess we actually need three of those. And we also make a guard, because we will get... If you look at the quest here... A sword piece. We could also get a pen or a knife, but I'm gonna go with the sword piece. I think that just makes most sense. And that should be it. No, we still need bindings. I think for bindings, we just go with wood. Um, let's see, that is 15 durability. Oh, that's 40. That's technically better, isn't it? I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. I'll, I'll just make this. Let's see, we only need it for the pickaxe and I think for the karma, maybe. Not entirely sure. Let's, let's put them together. It doesn't matter too much. We'll be replacing these really quickly anyway. But, you know. Might as well try to do it right uh, the first time. So the sword, this, this, and this. Oh, and do I do need one more tool. Uh, tool rod, I guess. There we go. Wooden one. And we make a karma, because then we can get some wool early on if we find some sheep. That would be awesome. And yeah. And oh, and the one thing we can also make, of course, is sharpening kits because if our tool breaks we can repair them with these guys right so we don't have to like waste uh or bring like a repair table or something with us and just place this guy on top a little bit of a base here temporarily do we have any sheeps or something around here that would be perfect see some botania flowers I'm not seeing two oh oh there's a astro sorcery shrine as well we should go raid it see if there's something good in the chest uh, anyone around here? Don't see anyone. Is this clay by any chance? Yes, I'm gonna go grab this. Because we will need this. We have to make a smeltery soon. And to get lava, we need clay buckets at the beginning. Because we can't make iron stuff yet. We can't mine iron. Well, there's some bunnies here. Not what I need. Ooh, there's a slime island. Uh, up there. Awesome. So we can get some slime early. Can make some slime shoes and... I think even some food. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately no sheeps. Okay. Maybe we should just pack our stuff. Oh, there's one. And do some exploration. I think I can shear you guys. Yes, I can. Nice. It does give us the Animania wool, but we can also turn this back into the regular stuff. So no big deal there. So let's see if we can get enough just for a bed so we can at least skip night when it approaches. We still have some time. There's a bunch of them over here. Come here, sir. Don't make that sound. I'm just grabbing your wool. That's it. There we go. There should be plenty. We can pick up some gardens here as well for food. Food is probably something I should take care of soon as well. Give me that. Give me that. Thank you. Uh, Coffee seeds. Sure, I'll take some coffee. I'll take it. But yeah, I kind of like that a lot of the, the mods are kind of integrated into each other. You know, you have to... You have to use items from several mods sometimes to build certain machines and make progress. I like this quite a bit. Uh, so we want to focus a lot on like automation as well to make things a bit easy. Oh, we can't even mine this. <laughs> you can't even mine a marble pillar. Well, we can still break it, but not really mine it. So let's just break it down. Oh, and I think I see something on the minimap that's pretty good. Let's just get rid of this real quick. There's a chest under one of these guys. I could vein mine the marble, but I'd rather not. I think I'll keep it. I'll, I'll save it for later. And of course, it's the last one, right? Some bones, that's nice. But also a chest. You definitely want the chest because, like I said, they're expensive to make. Um, if you look at the map, 
Yes, there's a village. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, we are going to go grab our stuff and sleep through the night. Make a bed real quick. Sleep through the night. And then we head over to the village and explore that because I think that could give us a really big start, big uh, boost to the early game start, uh, depending on what we find there. So let's do that. That sounds like a great idea. Can we use this directly? Yes. Makes a white bed. Awesome. So we can sleep through the night and I don't have any food whatsoever. I guess we can eat this coffee. And we do have nutrition in here, which is good. I like nutrition. It's my favorite, you know, nutrition mod. But I'm gonna wait a little bit, sleep through the night, just grab a bit more wood and such, and then we head over there. All right, we slept through the night. So let's grab our stuff. Hopefully we can put it all together. With the backpack, we should be fine. We should hopefully have enough room. And we're just gonna head over there. This, this is a really nice biome though, I think. It might be worth to just stay here. We have the slime island. There's a bit of lava for our smeltery. Oh, of course, we could live in a city, in a in a village for now. At least at the beginning. I think that might make sense, right? Um, Still no food, right? Except for my garden. Okay, we'll head over there and maybe we'll find some food in the village. Oh yeah, we definitely will find some food in the village. There will be lots of crops, probably pre-baked uh, bread. There will be... Uh, tons of wheat in chess because it has recurrent complex Which adds quite a few interesting buildings to villages that have quite a lot of cool loot And we could even see them on the map already that there are Like the ones with the um, oh there's some berries with the wool roof. So we have a bunch of wool and It's gonna be good. I think we can stay there for a while And just check it out yeah, I do like exploration. There is a skyblock version of this as well. Oh, I'm gonna grab these. But I decided to go with this one instead because I really like exploration in Minecraft. That's like my favorite thing. I could play a pack that's just about exploration um, and I'd be happy. So, you know, in skyblock you don't really do that. So I figured we'd play in this one. And I'm glad we did because this looks beautiful already. We got some really good terrain gen so far. Yes, okay. Yeah, we, we're just gonna steal one of these houses and live in these, right? Because we have everything here. We have a workbench. We have some loot up here. Yeah, look, plenty of food already. We can cook this all up. This is excellent. Couldn't be happier. Some pistons. The furnaces are really good too, because if you look at the recipe for a furnace uh, up there, look at this. This is ha uh, compressed cobblestone. And then you need like some stone gears. It's crazy crazy what it needs there's more food and then over here i don't think there's a chest in this one uh nope it's just like a little connected house where like two people could live oh no just one there's no bed in this one and there is a downstairs to this as well let's go check this one out but there is no loot here but of course a furnace a bed everything we could hope for these villages might die <laughs> over time i don't think i can protect them but maybe we'll try what if this has the mod that makes villagers follow... Oh, nice. Follow emeralds. Oh, perfect. So we got some immersive engineering stuff here. Let me just put away stuff so I have some room here. We're going to grab these guys. Oh, and actually I should have... What I should do is just put everything in one. So let's take out all this stuff. We got some blueprints here. Projectiles. Okay. We should probably try to save at least the immersive engineering villager because he can have some amazing traits. I'll keep the berries on me for now, just so I have some food. And we can dump the rest. Oh, I like this. This is this is excellent. These doors are beautiful now. I don't remember them having this hole. Maybe that's a texture pack, but I don't think it is. And there's a bunch of wool here as well. A bunch of sheep, of course. Wait, why? Oh, I was wondering, why is my tool repairing? But that's because we have wooden handles. Yes, furnaces. Plenty of furnaces. And this should have tons of food, right? All this wheat. Uh, although, can we actually make bread like this? Uh, oh, we have X Compressum and Nihilo in here, which is super weird. But I looked at the recipes at one point for the sieve, and it is really expensive. Okay, it looks like we have to go through the 
We have to make... Let's just do it the other way around. Bread. <laughs> we need to make dough, right? Flour. So there's three different types. This one we can't make. This one we can't. This one we can if we have a grindstone later on. But, okay. It's not quite as easy then. But it's still gonna be easy, I suppose. We have bookshelves. A garden. And there's some glowstone up here if we need some. Sometimes, yeah, they have armor. Uh, a bow is good. We can't use vanilla tools, so these are useless to us. Unfortunately. There's some arrows. Awesome. Oh, if this has one of those towers, like those guard towers, that'd be amazing. Because we could get some iron armor and just plenty of arrows. Like, more than we'll ever need. Do we have a guard tower in here? Oh, I think that's it. I think that's it. We've checked out this one. Let's go check out this building here. Yes, it's maybe it's not really a guard tower, but it's like some sort of tower. It does have furnaces down here too, right? But I think if you go up the ladder, where the hell is the entrance? Probably on the other side. If you, it, I guess it looks more like a mill to be honest. If you go um, all the way to the top, oh, shady business guy. That's not the best way to get down here, is it? Then uh, we can find some good stuff. And we also have more pistons here. How are pistons in this? Are they expensive? Uh, it needs plates. Okay, it's not too bad. I'm- I feel really excited right now. It's crazy. I'm like... I'm like... Almost shaking. That- that excited. <laughs> it's weird. It's like, oh yes, this is great. Yeah, look at this. Okay, we can't use the saw. We got a compass. Eh, not really anything good, but... Decent. At least lots of arrows, right? That would do. Perfect. And you know what? Uh, let's just grab some of these from here, because we will need them anyway. And might as well take them. I guess I can vein mine them. We're just gonna set them up in a different building. But yeah, this is this is gonna be oh game. Good. Thought it was gonna crash. This is gonna be good as long as we sleep through the night. These villagers should be fine. But you know, you know how it is. Sometimes you don't make it in time. Okay, there is something. Oh, there's a building here too. The way these things generate, oh, this is awesome. Okay, we go there in a second. Let's check out this. This is a forestry one. I am planning on doing bees. I always want to do bees. I never do it. Uh, I always start like a little bit, but never get into it. I really hope that this time I will. <laughs> I know it's not the most fun to watch. People usually don't like watching bee stuff, but I think we can make this interesting enough. So we'll check this out eventually. Not anytime soon, but yeah, I want to go check out this place because Usually, there's a ton of wood in these chests, right? Yes. We will not have to chop down any trees anytime soon. Wow. Definitely find yourself a village early on. That seems to be amazing. There's more food. This is even cooked. There's more wool up there. More cobwebs if we need some string. Although we have... Is there a way to reverse engineer these into, <laughs> into string? Uh, not... Well, that's a lot of recipes. We might need a crusher for this, from the looks of it. Is there an early game? A squeezer. Are you early game? Sort of. Still expensive. But this is what I like, right? Like, it, the fact that he uses, for example, an iron block is awesome to me. Oh, what is this? Engraved thunder. Nice. A drill and a pass. I'll leave this in there for now. This one... Mode single shot. How do you switch this? the mounts again? Is left click? Shift left? Left click? I don't want to use it. <laughs> I'll use it later. It shoots lightning bolts, but I think it will set things on fire. And I wonder if that was it. That might have been it. I don't think there is a vanilla... Oh wait, there's a bit... Oh no, there's a blacksmith. I saw it. I was gonna say that. I don't think there is a blacksmith, but there is. There is! There's more on this side. Aha! Um, but again, no easy way up, of course. Is this a blacksmith? Yeah, it is. Okay, I guess we have to break through the ceiling, unless we can go in here. Nope. Let's break through the ceiling. Why not? Just don't fall into the lava part. That would not be so good. So we have some lava here. Now you don't get a lot of business here, I bet. It's very, uh, very blocked off. Oh my goodness, what is all of this stuff? We have a void charm, saves you from falling into the void. I'm not sure if that's going to be useful anytime soon. Wow. Look at these dark boots. Empowered for jump three, flippers, thaumaturges boots, and apiaries. 
Of course, I think if the power runs out, I'm not sure if any of these still work, but it's still protection, right? A bunch of ingots, etc. Let's just grab it all. Why am I, like, so careful? And, of course, the chest. The chest is expensive in this, so... Take it. Let's put on the bronze helmet as well. And I'm just going to grab these two. May have to come back for the... Uh, for the lava here later on. And we're just gonna bust through the wall. And there, of course, is a bunch of food. We have wheat, we have potatoes. Woohoo, jumping. <laughs> so high. Yeah, that's great. We do have a right click harvest thing, right? Yes, of course. Shady villager. Definitely not gonna buy stuff from you. Amazing. And it is getting nighttime. So let's maybe head back to our little house. This is totally not what I expected to be doing in the first episode. <laughs> oh, look at this jump. Whoop, whoop. I love it. Uh, but this this is just a great start. I'm really glad we found this. I think I'm gonna take this house because look how cozy this is. Look how cozy this looks. Screenshot, there we go. This is beautiful. Yes, this is our house. We have the room, you know, we have the storage, I mean. So, all good. And we can sleep, we have books to read, and a furnace. With coal, nice. All right, but besides this being an amazing start, we should get things going here. Um, I will have to have stuff outside because this is gonna get really crowded really quickly. But let's grab some things because I do want to go mining and I guess we didn't actually get any like coal yet, right? Because I do want to have some uh, some torches, but I guess what we could do is steal the coal from here for now. I, th I think there was a... I think I saw a furnace outside somewhere that had a bunch of coal maybe. Yes, there we go. Charcoal. And we're just gonna go mine. You, my friend, might be amazing. I think he can sell these electrodes or whatever. Electro draw rods. I don't know what they're called. Oh, step assist. I love step assist. <laughs> it's my favorite thing. Um, but let's go into the mine. Let's just, you know, get some things going. And actually, let's check out the, the quest. Do we... Uh, yeah, we have to get the clay buckets, but... We also have to kind of increase our tool levels, right? That's kind of important because right now, oops, we can't mine much. Uh, so we have to find some things first. And actually, before we... We did get that clay. Let's go head back. Let's maybe go ahead and actually make those clay buckets first. Just so we can get the quest going so I don't have to do redo things. I, I really love this. Like, this is so cute. <laughs> This is so freaking cute. I'm gonna put, once I have a torch, put a torch up there. Let's actually make a torch right now, I guess. A couple of them. Uh, let's do, do like this. 16, don't even have that much, but you know, later on we will, there we go. And we're gonna have a little torch out here, just so we know this is occupied. But yeah, I'm going to make the clay buckets. We did grab clay, right? Yeah, there it is. We will want a couple, and we should probably bring these in case we find lava downstairs. I might as well grab it. Because we will need them. So let's cook these up and just use... Oh, wait, do we have... I just used that ball. Never mind. Let's go and check if we have, like, um, mini coal or something. In fact, what we should be doing is just put down a couple more furnaces here. Let's just do the whole the whole wall. It's gonna get uh, crowded in here real quick. But uh, we're going to smelt up these guys. Uh, well, I guess it's just one for now, and then... Oops. Ah, I messed this up. That's not gonna finish now. <laughs> Shoot. Do we have more sticks or something? Let's also bring the bow. Oh, it saved the progress there. Interesting. But what we can check now is... Yes, we have tiny charcoal and tiny coal. I love that stuff, so we don't have to waste things. Put away the book, we don't need this right now. And that should have finished up that quest here. And we do get loot chests as well, so there's a chance that we get something really good. The next one is a smeltery already. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll do this afterwards. I'm gonna go try to increase my tool. Oh, nice! The Rod of Terra Firma. Wait, is that? Oh, no, that's not the one I was thinking of. That one just evens out terrain, I believe. I was thinking about the rot of this one, of the land that like creates dirt. That would have been amazing. Okay, so you go do this. And I guess we could, can you use this for torches? For tiny torches, right. 
All right, I'm going to put on this Void Charm. Might as well. It's not going to be super useful. And we put away this Ender Orb Translocator, which is a reusable Ender Pearl that carries you. Sounds pretty fun. Can you use that later? Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and go, oop, go mine a bit. There is no... Oh, there's a cave here too. Let's see how far that goes down. Not very far. <laughs> I would like to find a natural cave, ideally, so we don't have to... Uh, dig too much. Oh, nice. There's a meteor on this side, too. And, of course, more lava. That is great. Uh, I wonder what kind of patterns we have in there. I guess we'll check it out later. But, uh, yeah, let's go back down to this little area, because it seemed to have a cave system here. And... Uh, oh, hi. Hi, everyone. Are you already killing things? Oh, these boots, man. Oh, look at you. Wow, you have a lot of um, <laughs> defense. Oh, wow, he dropped it. Aqua Affinity, I'll put it on. This one's almost broken, but I'll take it. It's better than what I have. Cool, so they just dropped this stuff. Huh? Oh, there's some cobble. That's probably from my house. I do have um, dynamic lighting enabled from Optifine. It's not actually part of the pack, but just so you know. Helps a little bit with caving and stuff. I like, uh, I like it quite a bit. Okay, so this is copper. Copper we can mine, right? And this will be the first material we use on our pickaxe. Although, you know what? I actually wonder... If we had... Let's see something here. Can we make obsidian somehow? With a crafting recipe? No. Okay, so we would have to make it in a smeltery, right? We can make this. Uh, melt a smelting... Oh, wait. Maybe not. Maybe they disabled mixing it in a smeltery. Interesting. Okay, so we can't cheese it. We can't like go directly to obsidian mining. Okay, not the biggest cave system, unfortunately. <laughs> I thought it was, you know, a bit more open, but that's okay. Well, in that case, I mean, we already have the copper, right? We only really need a bit to upgrade our pickaxe. So we could go ahead and try to make... Ooh, look at this. There's some iron then for later. We could use this and just make uh, the better pickaxe hat. But we do need a smeltery for that. We do need to get a smeltery first. And so I think I just need to go grab some gravel, sand, and clay. So I'm gonna... Let's take a look at the map here. Where could we find this? Um, also, is there anything else of interest around here? Okay, so best bet is probably to just go back down here and collect stuff. So let me go do this. Okay, one thing I forgot was my sharpening kits. So let's bring these because I just broke my mattock by mining gravel. And we can just re fully repair this with one, which is great. Okay, thanks to our vein mining that took like no time. And it looks like there is another uh, shrine over here that we can go check out real quick. Before the sun sets completely on us. Did we, did we bring the extra bet? I don't think I did. And I do have... Well, I guess we can put it in here. My inventory is quite full now. <laughs> Grabbed too much stuff. Um, yeah, let's go check this out real quick. Ah, there it is. Second one this time. Nice. Got some... Um, some... Uh, what are they called? <laughs> Constellations? Yes. And, you know, a few bones is nice. And some aquamarine. Alright, let's head back. And we're gonna make some smeltery stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and make some grout so we can make seared bricks for our smeltery. Uh, is there no... Yeah, there's this... Oh, it's this recipe, okay. Yeah. Well, that's plenty. Let's make... I don't know, how much do we want? That's one stack. Do we need that much? Two stacks? I guess we make... Three stacks? Perfect, okay. Let's go ahead and smelt these up then. I don't think we'll need all of them, but, you know, would be nice to have, I guess. Okay, while we wait on the stuff, I think we're gonna reuse some of these buildings for other purposes. So let's tear down some things here. And we're gonna turn this a bit into like a storage system or a storage room. I think that might make sense. We have a couple more chests that we can use before I need to craft some. And I'm also gonna get rid of this chair and this because it's like a little bit in the way. I don't think we necessarily need this at the moment. And yeah, for now this will do. Eventually we'll probably move anyway. Let's maybe break this and put a block. Oh, nope, not there. Well, let's make another one, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we just have a bit of a storage here. I think we can, that's a stair, so we can put down another chest there too if you want. Um, it's just gonna make it easier right now for 
you know, just storing things here. So, yeah, let me go get organized a bit. Oh, found a spider spawner. I was just looking for some coal. And I heard a spider and I was like, hmm, I wonder if there's something in here. I was kind of hoping for a mine shaft, but this is, this is good too. Let's go check this out. Uh, there we go. This open? Nope. Nope, that's blocked off. Cool. Oh, we got some capacitors in here. A power two book. Once we get an anvil, I guess we can apply this. Uh, tin ingots. I'm gonna grab some ingots, I guess. Dark steel. What's over here? Oh, ender pearl. There's some copper right there. Redstone. Pretty good stuff. And a manuscript. I'm not sure how fire and ice works. Okay. We have to get. We have to look at that mod eventually. But very nice. We can set up like a little mob farm if we want to. And this is like right next to the, um, what's it called? The, uh, meteor here. Cause I was like looking for coal. Oh, there's a little exit here too. That's not the way I took to go in there. I took the one from over here. Oh, there's more co uh, copper. And while we're here, I guess I can grab some lava as well. Cause we'll need it soon. All right. We got a bunch of seared bricks here. So let's get started on stuff. Of course we need a drain. Let's make, um, do we want one for now? Yeah. One is good enough, I guess. We want a controller, we want a faucet, of course, we want a table, a bin, and a tank with a piece of glass. There we go. That's all the major ones. And again, my inventory is just crazy right now. Let's put away some things if I can. And then uh, we, of course, need bricks, right? Just a bunch of bricks. So I'm still making like more, but it might be enough for now. Probably not. Let's see. This is good. We get another loot chest and we also finish this one up. And, ooh, uh, more grout? Nah, maybe. Maybe that's the best reward here. I'm not sure. Let's grab that so we can smelt it up. So we can make a bigger, uh, you know, smeltery right away, I guess. And let's check out our loot box too. We get, oh, a hamster wheel. Oh my goodness. I'm so going to get a hamster and we're so going to use this to generate power. Yes, we will do this for sure. I have to do that. And we're just going to set up the smeltery down here where I have our tinkers tables right in front of our house. Uh, tomato seed, goodbye. And let's see, how do we want to do this? Let's, um, I guess we can do this here. I want to have this raised from the ground a bit. I don't think I want this to be in the ground. And then we put the controller here and the drain on this side for now, I think. Let's grab some building blocks here so I can play stuff. Because we can... And actually we should make a second faucet so we can have both things here. So we can have the table and the, you know, the, the basin there. And we put the tank in the middle. And we put the rest just bricks. So I just need to make a few more and then we can finish this thing off. Alright, we got our smeltery up and running here. So let's give it some lava. And we can expand on this of course later on. There we go. Four buckets is enough to fill us up, and we're gonna put in our copper ore for now. Now the uh, this, the only issue right now is that you know we need to make a copper pickaxe hat or sharpening kit. Any of those would work. Uh, oh, aluminium. Can we use this? Because I was we have to make casts, right? And we can either make them out of gold, or we can make them out of brass, or we can make them out of uh, you know aluminium brass, which is this stuff here which requires aluminum and copper. I'm not sure if the that aluminum works though. Yeah, I don't think alum, aluminum is the same thing. Well, it says it's or dictionary because we could, I don't know, should we try this? But I don't think that's that's even enough. I don't think we would have enough to do this. So I think for now, we're just gonna go with a clay cast, which is like a one use thing but I mean let's actually make a couple just in case we need it because what we need to make of course is the pickaxe cast first the pickaxe hand so let's smelt this down and once we have the copper pickaxe we can actually go mine aluminum but uh, right now it's a it's it's too high of a tier we can't get it right now but we can extend this one a little bit keep extending this probably get rid of this tree soon but there it is molten clay we can pull put this on top of our stone piece it will make a cast but like i said this is a one 
use cast, but that's gonna be good enough. So let's make the copper pickaxe head. And I'm gonna repair this guy. Now, technically, if I would make a sharpening kit instead, a copper sharpening kit, it would increase the the, uh, the the mining level. It wouldn't increase the durability by a lot, or if any, I don't think. But we could still keep repairing these with sh uh, flint sharpening kits. Maybe that wouldn't be a bad idea. Instead of using the pickaxe head. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to use the sharpening kit instead. Um, I think that might make more sense. But we have to... I mean, we won't really be using copper for much. We just get a little bit more stuff and then we can upgrade it again. But I think this might be better because, yeah. Uh, we need a piece of flint in there too. And then... See, it does... Yeah, it doesn't increase the durability whatsoever. But it only gives us the... Uh, it does increase the, the mining level, right? So, But this way we can repair this with flint, which is pretty neat. Especially once we upgrade this further. So I think that's not a bad thing to do. But I think we're going to call this here for today. I don't want this episode to be too long. Um, yeah, I think it's a pretty good start though. We got, you know, this fancy village here, which helps us out quite a bit at the beginning. Got our smeltery up and running. Even have a little bit of fancy armor here. Ooh, nice. Nice looking there. <laughs> and I'm just going to go do a bit more mining. And then, you know, next time we're just going to keep progressing through the quest. Try to upgrade things and probably do a bit more exploration. I really like that we found this and I would like to see if there's more around here just like around our area a little bit you know I think that would be kind of fun so hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon bye bye